Emmanuel Omo. Let him drag the idiot. Let him drag the idiot. Let them drag him on which kind of thing is this? Which kind of embarrassment is this one? Eh? Yesterday I was defending my life on, on Instagram. Today again, I'm not doing anything. They should drag him too. <laughs> Guys, can you remember that voice note? It's not a recent voice note. It's an old one. The one that um a fan was, I think she was a liquor lion. She was very upset. The you know that top six when they were seeing the house. The top six when they had um a dinner outside um by the pool um where Emmanuel was sitting down Angel was sitting lying down on his lap and he was caressing her and Liqua Rose was there and was looking uncomfortable and she started having allergy and all that. Yeah, that a liqua lion feeling very, you know, upset. Anyways, I decided to run that voice note because this has been a season of leaked voice notes and leaked Twitter speeds videos and leaked everything, leaked chat self. Okay, all right. Um, thank you very much for joining my channel. This channel is known as Everyday with Idara Yang, and my name is Idara Yang. If you've not yet subscribed, please click on that subscribe button and turn on notification for more videos from me. Thank you. Okay, guys, before we get into it today, I want to be sending I want to send um two birthday shout outs to your faves. One is Yerins. Yerins is having his birthday today. Congratulations or happy birthday, Yerins. As you can see on your screen, people are saying happy birthday left, right, and center. So if you are a Yerins fan, you can comment below and wish him happy birthday. The same goes with Yusef, our gentle lion. Yeah, that guy is gentle. But <laughs> he lasted longer than those people that were making noise. So I wish him happy birthday as well. Uh, today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Yusef. All right, yeah. So now that we have gotten that out of the way, um, I, of course, this video we're talking about Liquorus and Emmanuel. But before we get into it, I actually have like a question that I saw online that I was like, you guys might be interested in answering because <laughs> things are happening, you know. All right, so I saw this question online, um, courtesy of Rant and Gist. If the person didn't send it to me, but sent it to Rant and Gist, but I was like, let me ask you guys your opinion about this. Um, this person wrote, my marriage is seven years plus. I have two kids, age five and two. Since I got married, I have never been to the market before. My husband does all the shopping, including baby wears, full stuff. In fact, even my gift down to matches. All I do is arrange them or check them out when he returns. Some of my friends said it's a kind of abuse. My mom said I should let him be as long as he doesn't lack. I don't lack anything when I ask him. He said I take care of the kids and home and still go to school to teach. Oh, I forgot. I am a teacher. He said that that is only two way of helping me out since I do all the cooking too. Some of my friends said that it's not right. Right now, I am making a list of what he will buy for the Easter holidays. Please ask your rant nation. Should I demand he gives me the money or so that I can go to shop by myself? Or I should let him be? It seems it makes him happy. Um, because he has never complained before. But how long? Please post it now. I want to read your opinions and advice. Thank you. Guys, comment below and let me know what you think about this. Um, for me, I would say I have to ask this lady so many more questions. Um, I feel like whenever a lady is crying out for help, most people tend to jump on, um, bashing the husband and you know, when women are in pain, men don't really complain, women complain. So I don't want to jump into any conclusion. I want to ask her more questions. Like if I would ask, if I want to, you know, intervene, I will ask, is it, have you ever brought this up? She sounds like she has never really told, she has told, she has asked him why he does it according to this, but she has not asked, she has not told him that she's not comfortable with it. At least I don't know. She didn't say this. She didn't tell him she's not comfortable with this. And so you will know the real root because there are some men that don't like giving their woman money, but they'll go and buy the thing the woman asks for. The woman say, okay, I want to buy, I want um, I want a bag. It will go and buy the bag, but it will never, you will not lack anything, but it will never give you money. There are so many reasons for that. Some of them is because they did money. <laughs> I'm a Nigerian, and I'm not accusing anything, but I'm a Nigerian. We know a lot of voodoo goes on. Some of them is... They did money ritual somewhere and then the baba told them not to give their money to any of their loved one but they should go they can spend on their loved one but not give them the money i'm not saying this is the case there's some men too that do it because they're stingy they don't want the woman to have liquid cash 
Because I mean, if I have little cash, I can divide the money and be like, okay, I'll keep 5,000 every month from the money my husband is giving me and be saving. They don't want the woman to have access to any liquid cash from them. Do you understand? So many reasons. So for me, I feel like you still have to ask this lady more questions. I am not attacking the husband. There might be more um, beneath the surface. Anyways, let me move on to liquors and manner. I don't want to rest on this for a very long time. Now, um, Imanu and Likoros have been accused of not having chemistry. And it's, people basically were saying that they're not surprised that this ship did not last. You know, I told you that there's a lot of leaked voice notes and leaked this and leaked that. I'll be getting to that soon um, in other of my videos. But um, I remember during the show, they were comparing them with Nengi and Ozo. They felt like Nengi and Ozo had chemistry. But Emmanuel and Likoros, there was zero chemistry. Come, this can be shown um, from tweets like this. This person was like, they claim... This, the, the tweet I'm going to read will be a mixture of people saying, yes, they don't have commission, a mixture of people saying, no, they do. It's just not your own type of chemistry. This one said, um, they claim they don't have chemistry because they didn't have SEX inside the house. A we crazy people everywhere. Rose and Emmanuel, I like you guys in particular, but guys, forgot, forget to Emmanuel, they dance, I beg. Then another person was like, um, we are not in some kind of science lab here. They don't need chemistry in their relationship. They need love and it's there. So that person was like, they didn't need chemistry. They didn't have chemistry, but they had love. All right. The only reason these people claim in my rose never had chemistry in that house is because they did not have SEX on TV and that's it. Shame on you all. Then another was like, so when Emmanuel talked to Rose, you did not see the chemistry. But when Emmanuel talked to Saskia, you saw the chemistry. You all are just pained by Emma Rose. Ah, man, so many accusations flying left and right. And another person was like, the girls and Emmanuel splitting shouldn't even surprise you. This person is for the notion that they don't have chemistry. These two had zero chemistry. They were not supposed to carry on with the Imaro's delusion after the house. So what do you think about this? You guys think that they had chemistry? You guys will just be sitting down one day. That it's not happened this year because the heat is still on Lagos and Emmanuel. So I don't think it will happen this year, but you guys will just be sitting in your corner, maybe talking about the newest Big Brother Ninja housemates, and you see on your TV screen, we are happy to announce the um, holy matrimony of Rosalind Afija and Emmanuel Umo. That was what you see on your TV screen. It will shock, it go shock, una. it go shock. Una. There's just certain people that are private that don't want to. I see Likoros as a businesswoman. I mind, I brain, I heard did that money. Like, I heard did that money. And Emmanuel, too, at least to a certain extent, I feel like it's because of based on their background, the difference in their background. Likoros is like a hustler. She has been on the streets from like a very young age, right? Emmanuel seems like he has a well rounded family. Okay, so Likoros seems like someone that needs to take care of our own family, right? Emmanuel seems like someone that. Um, yeah, if he gave money to his parents and his brothers, but it will, it will just be because he wants to give them money, not because they need it. So they're coming from two different backgrounds. So when they got into that house, even if they both fell in love, Ligoros will choose money, will be more focused on money more than Emmanuel at that time. So the lack of chemistry that you probably, whoever probably noticed, might just be as a result of Likoros's attention not being on things like that at that moment. Okay, come on. She came here to work. She came here to make money. Yes, I love you. But after the love, where do I go chop? If after the love, I'm not coming to your house, I'm not like, I'm like okay, give me 100k a year. Give me 200k a year. Like, I need to make my own money. So, if that's, if you ask me, um... The main reason, I feel like the main reason why people saw it as forced lack of chemistry was because it seemed like Likoros was the one pursuing Emmanuel. Like, Likoros was the one forcing the love on Emmanuel. That's the way it just seemed like. Because Emmanuel, you turn here, he flirts with Sasuke, you turn here, he flirts with Angel, you turn here, he flirts. You understand why Likoros was just focused on Emmanuel? That's why it seemed like that. 
but it might it might it just might not be the case behind closed doors you don't even know if Imano is the one that is more serious in the relationship than the chorus because that's that girl has gone through a lot in the hands of men and i think the girls look like someone that doesn't have trust she has trust issues like she has deep the trust issue is deep rooted you know when you talk yourself out of things you be like no he's a good guy i trust him and this is this and then the next minute you're acting opposite to what you just pronounced out of your mouth that's how liquor looks like she, she looks like she has deep rooted trust issues and she would do the lovey dovey stuff but when the guy pushes to bring something serious out of it she might shrink back and that might have been what happened after and then emmanuel did not i help Emmanuel did not help situation. You see, a girl has trust, deep rooted trust issues, and you're flirting with someone in front of her, and yet you're calling it cruise. You understand? I know he was calling it cruise. It didn't. That's why we need to mature it. I'm not saying anybody's not, but I'm just saying a grown man will never do that. But let's just say he was calling it cruise because probably he doesn't know how women think. You need to know how women think, you know? To be able to live with her in peace but anyways um that's my opinion guys i don't want to make this video too long um my opinion i feel like we can't just sit down and judge from what we saw on our tv if they had chemistry or not okay they both have baggage because has baggage manu has baggage and those baggages can't be comfortably and totally sorted out in front of us on national tv it's behind closed doors that we we'll know if they had chemistry or not. Okay, and I understand why people thought they did not have chemistry because because Licorose seemed like she was the one pushing a relationship on Emmanuel. Everybody, every day, Licorose leave Emmanuel alone. Licorose leave Emmanuel alone. You know that was why. Well, I'm just saying you cannot judge from watching on your national TV for like how many days. You know that someone doesn't have chemistry. You can't just judge that. That's my opinion. You can comment below. And let me know what you think about this. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Why do you do so? Don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Turn on notification for more videos from me. Yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. In my next video, you'll be able to listen to guys. There are many leaked chats, leaked voice notes. It's crazy. So. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and bye.